Brabant here. I'm still on my holidays. I'm in the northeast of Scotland, staying on a beach at a place called Lossie Mouth, which is near Inverness. It's a beautiful sandy beach. Blue sky, very quiet, very empty, seagulls. It's absolutely gorgeous. So today we're going to have a little look around this world that I've created with the help of the panda and the duck. And what we're looking at at the moment is the panda's ship build, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Cannons, masts. And a, oh, wow, and a hold and everything. Oh, my mate, he's such a good builder. I can't wait to see it when it's all finished. I've seen that there's going to be sails going up as well. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Over here is the Duck's Lighthouse. It's full of lava, so it glows at night. Uh, let me just show you. There we go. That's what it looks like at night. And for some reason he set fire to one of his ships. And it burns and it burns and it burns. The fire never goes out, but the boat never <laughs> the boat never disappears either. my second vlog. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about myself if you're interested and if you're not you can always go. <laughs> but I want to show you something first that the panda set up for me. So here's me. I'm actually in vanish mode. Obviously it's coming up on the video. But watch this. How's that for an entry? <laughs> I love it. Let's just do that again. <laughs> Fantastic. And again. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Panda. Just in case you can hear some interesting roaring noises in the background, there's Lusty Mouth Air Base about a mile away from here and they're running the jets today so there's a lot of uh, tornado military aircraft going past <laughs> so you might be able to hear that going on in the background so wow i love that build so gaming I've always been a gamer. I've always really enjoyed gaming. The first game system I ever got my hands on was called, I think it's called Pong. Pong or Ping or something like that. And it was a TV game. You plugged it into your TV set and it had two little white paddles with a black wheel on it. And you could play tennis, table tennis with you and one other person or just on your own. And it was basically a little white pixel that moved from side to side of the screen and you had to move your paddle up and down the screen to knock it back to the other person um, and me and my little brother thought it was just the best thing ever to play on that it was absolutely great and then when I was a bit older I got a Sega Mega Drive and I used to love playing Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic and Tails Sonic 1, 2 and 3 um, Echo the Dolphin. Um, oh, Sir, I think it was Zelda and the Ocarina of Time, something like that as well. Wonder Boy and Monster World. And then I had a Super Nintendo and played Super Mario World, which I really liked as well. It was great fun. 
quite fun. And obviously when the PlayStation era came out, I used to have a PlayStation 1, PS1, only it was just called a PlayStation in those days, and I got absolutely hooked on Tomb Raider. I loved Tomb Raider. So I played all the Tomb Raider games on the PS1, 2 and 3, and I also liked things like uh, Duke Nukem, and as far as PC gaming goes, I played Doom when I was at university, and I really enjoyed Doom. And as things developed, it became more customizable, and you could make your own Doom wads to go in, or maps and levels. Um, although I never actually made any, I used to play other people. So I used to really enjoy playing Doom as well. And when I discovered Minecraft in 2012, I tested it out in order to buy it for somebody else. And I was hooked. I bought it for somebody else. And then I had to buy my own account because they never got to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I was never off it. I was like, no, you can't play, I'm playing just now. So I got my own Minecraft account. And I used to mostly play single player survival. Um, and the most enjoyable version I've found so far for me is 1.7.10. Although having been playing on the EA server on 1.8, there are some features of it that I do like. But I think for my own single player games, I do prefer 1.7.10. So, I started doing YouTube videos in early April, I think it was, this year, that's 2015. After having been to Insomnia 54 and seen Dan TDM, I thought, uh, ooh, I could do this as well. And when I was doing one of the server reviews, obviously I did Hypixel, Mindplex, The Hive, um, several, you know, private world modded games, things like that. And I did play on one of the other Hypixel servers as well, and I cannot remember for the life of me what the name was, but I really didn't enjoy it. And I thought, oh, I'll just, you know. I watched the element animation videos, really enjoy them, and I thought, uh, oh, let's try the, let's try the element animation server. So I did. I gave it a try, and I've been on there ever since. I absolutely love it. It's got that combination of good people, good fun. Ooh, somebody's been busy. Don't fall in grum, please. Interesting people, nice people to play with. It's a great world, great setup. I love the epic Mythic Drops plugins. And it's just really, really fun to play. So I've not been off it since. I meant to only go on for an hour and do a server review. And that was it. I was absolutely hooked. It's, it is definitely the best place I've ever played. But I've hardly done, as you may have noticed if you watch my YouTube channel, I've hardly done any single player or survival games ever since. <laughs> I'm just on EA all the time. This is my little fishing hut. I'll just turn off the rain. Go on rain, go away. There we go. This is my little fishing hut on the beach. some sun loungers. It's a different beach to the one in the last vlog. Go away zombie. And this ship was built by Colonel Blocks when he was on here. And this amazing house that I just went to just now, which is up on the hill here, was built by Gamer864. And it, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it big load of secret stuff underneath as well, but I'm not going to show you that because it's still secret, I think. And he's not here to ask anyway, so I shan't be showing it unless I know it's okay. So there's Gamer's Head and Gamer's House. 
my little fishing hut looks rather sad by comparison, but it's all I need at the moment for playing this game. I can't get in the chest. I think I might still be vanished. No, I'm not vanished. Oh, I'm lagging, that's all. Yes, the Wi-Fi on holiday is not great. It's uh, barely adequate, <laughs> I think would be the nicest way of putting it. It's there, it's Wi-Fi, but you can't really hope for too much from it. So I shan't be doing anything interactive on this game today because it will probably crash or lag out on me. And besides, I thought, as this is only my second spoken video, my second vlog, vlog I thought I'd uh, just see how things go first <laughs> before I start trying to do anything too exciting. So there we have it, another ship build. Ooh, what's this bit down here? Ooh, oh, it's lovely. It's a little dining table in there. Got cannons along the side. Stuck in the invisibility barrier. Uh, more cannons. And there is a big space in between the walkway and the ship, which I fell in earlier when I was having a look around. Oh, hello, creeper. Oh, yes, I'm definitely lagging. Creepers don't usually move that fast. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's nice. You've done a nice job here. Big chairs. Nice window. Torches and brackets. Lovely. Oh, nice attention to detail on here. Again, I'm not entirely sure whether Colonel Blocks has finished building it or not. I'm sure I'll get a chance to ask him at some point. Where's Grum gone? Here, Grum. Where's he gone? Grum! Come on, Grum. Oh, I've lost my dog again. Oh well. Right, well, the sun's setting. That's enough for another day. I can just enjoy the sunset. I just love Minecraft sunsets. Very pretty. Oops. <laughs> it's jumping a bit. As I said, I'm lagging quite badly because the Wi Fi connection is not fantastic. As I'm sure you all know when you get a public Wi Fi connection. They're never great. They're never great. But hey, it let me get on. It let me get on here for at least a little bit. So I shall say good night to you all, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.